Hey everybody, it's Jessica Khalil and welcome back to my channel. Thank you oh so much for watching. Today I am doing a Halloween look and it is going to be a glam skull. Yes, I know those are very popular and trendy right now, but I want to do another one. I did a Satan Sinner skull last year that was gold and super awesome with all these little like scrolls and like really cool gold stuff. I'll pop in a picture now and I kind of want to do another glam skull. To make this video extra special, Deck of Scarlet sent me their Edition 8 palette with the liquid eyeliner for me to try out and I thought it would be super cool to incorporate it in the skull. So thank you so much Deck of Scarlet. This video is brought to you by Deck of Scarlet. So if y'all don't know, Deck of Scarlet is a makeup subscription box. It is $29.95 every other month and every other month they collab with a super cool beauty influencer or youtuber that knows their stuff and kind of creates their own like personal palette like something that they would absolutely love to use so that's kind of cool so these people know what they're doing because they love makeup and they talk about makeup and they're like little gurus and so to collab with Deck of Scarlet and create their own kind of palettes and then like bonus item is super cool so I like to support them so the palette edition number 10 is in collab with Miss Ray Raven Elise. Her little note says, I was shook when Deck of Scarlet invited me to curate my very own palette. We worked together over the past year to create a fun palette to take you from day to night. Well, Miss Raven, we are not taking this from day to night. We are just going straight tonight and being super skeleton and skull. And I hope you approve this look, girl. And we're going to go ahead and use this Deck of Scarlet palette to create a glam skull, which I am super excited about. I'm going to use some other makeup because I definitely want to add some black and add a little bit of grunge to it. But I think the overall color palette, color scheme is going to be this kind of like a rosy with the shimmer, like the gold, rose gold, and browns. Okay, first off, since I'm going to go with a really, really deep smoky eye for my skull eyes, I'm going to go ahead and put some of my powder. This is Cody Airspun Translucent, and this is just going to help out with fallout. We might end up painting this whole area, but just in case we don't, I kind of want to have a backup plan so I can sweep all of that away. Okay, I definitely look crazy, but it's part of the process, and you gotta trust it. All right, so I am taking Bay on this little fluffy brush. This is a MAC 217 brush. I'm just gonna blow out my crease like never before because we are going big and bold and crazy with this look because it's Halloween, you know. Y'all, I really love Deck of Scarlet's pressed shadows and blushes and highlight. You can always like interchange them to do different jobs on your face and I've just never been disappointed. You guys, I have a couple of other Deck of Scarlet videos and trust me, the payoff is always there. The blendability is always there and like the shade choices are always bomb. All right, y'all, we are going big. Okay, now with a more precise fluffy brush, I'm going in with the shade Bomb, and it is like this sparkly, chocolatey brown that is just so beautiful. I'm gonna just deepen up the crease a little bit more. Okay, really quick, I wanted to show you that I'm bringing the brown in towards my nose a little bit, and that's gonna start creating like my sunken in eye sockets for the skeleton. Okay, now I'm gonna create like a inner open wide eyeball, so to speak. I wanna kind of paint in here white and then open up my inner corner so that it's nice and bright, but the rest is gonna be really dark. Um, and for that, I'm going to use two NYX Jumbo pencils. I'm gonna use the white one in milk and then the black one in black bean. The black is gonna go around where the dark areas are, like the, the actual sunken in portions of each eye, and then this is gonna go in the inner corner. Okay, then from there, I'm going to kind of just buff out the Jumbo Sticks, the cream product, so that it's not so not blended. How's that? I'm just taking a really light, fluffy blending brush and bringing that together. Then I'm going into this creamy shadow called Vibes, and I'm going to pack that on top of the white cream. All right, y'all, I noticed that these arches were a little uneven, so I just put the Milk Jumbo Stick on a little flat brush here and I'm just kind of cleaning it up so that it looks a little bit more round. Now I'm moving on to the black jumbo pencil to kind of create this darkness around the eye. 
Okay, y'all, I know this looks crazy, but it is going to get better. At least I hope it will. Okay, so since there is not a black in the Deck of Scarlet palette, I am hopping into my custom Z palette here. And I have a lot of shadows in here. I have Sugar Pill, MAC, Makeup Forever. I'm going to pick up this black shadow here, which is from Sugar Pill. And it is called Bulletproof. I'm going to use this to set the black cream and then further smoke out my skull eye. This is also going to mattify any shininess from the black cream. Okay, at this point, I'm going to start rounding out under my eye and create that depth of that skull or eye socket. Now I'm going back into bay to further smoke out that eye socket. All right, both eyes are looking good. The shape is starting to get there. Now I want to highlight my brow bone, and for that, I'm going to use the shade Lit. Literally. It's literally spelled lit early. Literally. So here it goes. I like to use this tiny little paintbrush because it gets right in there exactly where I want to highlight. And it's my favorite little tool for this. That is a really pretty highlight. All right, now to spruce up my inner corner a little bit, I'm going to use Lemonheads Glitter in Dirty Penny. And I'm kind of blending that into the black so that we have a nice shift transition. And I'm kind of keeping that on the majority of my lid. I'm going to put a lighter glitter on the inside. All right, now I applied some NYX glitter glue in the inner corner and I'm using their glitter in gold. So this gold glitter is a little bit brighter than um, the copper penny glitter so it's going to add like a highlighted effect in the corner of the eye. So there's a shift between gold and copper. Okay you guys we are all glitterified so I'm going to go ahead and use Deck of Scarlet's liquid eyeliner in the shade Throwback Black. I'm going to line my eyes just the top of my eyes like normal. I might pull it in deeper in the corner and then clean up the edges um, underneath my eye, the center of my eye. All right, the eyes are in a good place. I went ahead and did some liquid liner and then my mascara. I'm gonna hold off on the lashes a little bit longer just in case I'm gonna do some painting here because pro tip, if you're gonna face paint, wait till the very, very end to put the lashes on because sometimes your brush will hit your lash and forget it, then you have paint on your lashes. So let's move on to sculpting out the rest of the face. I am using Makeup Forever's Artist Pencil in Wherever Walnut, and I'm gonna start laying out the design of my skull. Okay, now I'm hopping back over to Bay because I'm going to shadow and shade out everywhere I kind of drew those lines so that when we lay the black down, it really pops. Okay, so I went around all of the edges and kind of blended it out, concentrating closer to the line and then lighter pressure fading out as you go up. Now I'm going to take Zia or Zaya, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but it's this like middle copper, like rosy copper shade. I'm going to go back over just certain areas with that to make it really stand out. So it has this really pretty like iridescence to it. All right, now that that is done, I am taking my NYX Jumbo Liner. I'm going to go ahead and darken up all of these like negative space areas. So this is going to be black, and here is going to be black. My nose is going to be black, and then we'll do the detail work on the teeth. So if you don't have face paints, you can definitely always just use um, what you have. Liners are awesome, um, but not only that, but these uh, NYX Jumbo ones are pretty nice. Okay, the black cream is laid down. I'm just taking a little fluffy brush. I'm gonna kind of blend out the edges. 
Okay, now with this shade Balm and this like little tiny flat kind of domed brush. Actually, I think this is a lipstick or a lip brush. Anyways, I'm going to create like little divots in the skull with this shimmery brown shade called Balm. Okay, cuties, we're in a good place. I went ahead and did these like little scrolls. This is looking a lot like my last skull and I didn't want it to, but it is and it must be just what I like and what I'm drawn to. So now I'm going to take um, just a normal matte brown, not from the Deck of Scarlet palette. I'm gonna start kind of carving out each little tooth and teeth. And I'm just gonna kind of do a basic teeth kind of like my own okay y'all the teeth are mapped out with eyeshadow and next i'm going in with mayron paradise paints i'm going to use the white and go ahead and fill in each little tooth okay i got my white on my little lip brush and we're gonna go ahead and paint those teeth and you can also twist the brush a little bit to kind of give it a little point at the end Okay, now that we have the base of the teeth laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into just a matte brown shadow and kinda shadow each little tooth. All right, we got the teeth shaded and I put a little bit more white on the front teeth. Now I'm going back in with the Deck of Scarlet's liquid liner and throw back black. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda detail in between each teeth. Tooth. Okay, so I just went ahead and applied a little bit of glitter glue on each tooth and then I'm in between deciding on which glitter to use. This is NYX Rose and then this is NYX Gold. So I might do a mixture of both. So I think I'm going to do pink around the tooth and then gold in the middle. Okay, glitter lips are done. I'm thinking I want to do... A white nose but I'm not sure unless I do all my like designs with the white first if it's gonna go good and then whatever I do to one side I need to hurry up and do it to the other side so that I don't forget kind of the shape and length of everything okay I think I'm gonna do a lot more white so I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nose white Oh, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and shade around it with the red. Or not the red, um, bay. I think that'll make everything kind of stick out a little bit more. Now I'm going to add some little scrolls tagged onto this ultra high mustache of mine. Now I'm going to do a little bit more scrolls on my forehead. All right, now that I have like my chunky designs with the white, I'm gonna go in with NYX White liquid liner and just add some like finer detail work. Okay, now I'm going in with the brown shadow and I'm gonna kind of just outline a few of the white designs and buff out so that it kind of looks a little bit more 3D and brighter. All right, now that all of my little white pieces are nice and shaded underneath, I'm gonna go back in with this liquid liner and kind of just add some details right where the white meets the shading. All right, you guys, I popped on my lashes. I'm wearing breezy lashes, and these are in the style Mistress. They are super black and fluffy and really dramatic. I love that. Next, I'm gonna work on my neck here. We're gonna go back into Bay because Bay is like the star of the show for this look, and I'm taking a fluffier brush here, and I'm just gonna work that all the way down the middle of my neck, and a little bit on the sides. I want to add a little bit of Zia too. And I'm also going to pick up a little bit of the brown, which is called Bomb, and go over everything again. 
Now I'm taking a larger, longer, slightly domed paintbrush and I'm gonna do the squiggles and the squirrelies. What are these called, squirrels? I don't even know what these things are called. What are they called? Somebody please let me know in the comments below. And these are gonna be like my vertebrae. Okay, you guys, I just finished up a little something on my neck. It's not super detailed, but it's just something in case it gets in the pictures. Um, but now it is time for rhinestoning and jewels. So these are just like golden, like little studs that you would put on your nails. I got that off on Amazon. And then I have my little collection of rhinestones here. I have lots of like gold yellow ones. All right, I put little like marquee shaped studs on my lips and I'm going underneath each one and putting like a little round like half a sphere. Okay y'all, my teeth are pretty studded out. Now I'm taking like a teardrop, like a curved teardrop shape, and I'm going to build that right on the tip of my nose. Now I'm switching over to the little dots. I'm gonna pile those down. All right, so I'm loving how the studs look. I'm gonna go throughout my whole face and put a bunch everywhere and then we will be right back. All right, y'all, I got a little carried away and I just totally blinged out my nose. I think it looks so fun and so cool. I'm just gonna keep at it and I'm also gonna put some rhinestones or studs around my eyebrows too. Okay, now I have these really cute little stars. I'm gonna use those. All right, you guys, I am feeling pretty good about this skull. It definitely took me a long time, but it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna go put on a wig and maybe a little cute top or something, something, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is my skull. I decided to put on a ombre kind of reddish, what color would you call this? I don't know, it's like a berry wig, but it's super cute. I'm like super into the bobbed wigs for some reason. I just, I think it's kind of sassy and cute. All right, you guys, well, that is it. That is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please, oh, please subscribe. I am all over social media. I am at Gorgeous Effects on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And then, of course, you can always find me here as Jessica A.M. Khalil. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I was totally inspired by this deck of Scarlet Palette. Definitely see the color scheme comparison. And you guys, I'm doing so much better as far as my pregnancy is going. I will be 18 weeks tomorrow, and I'm absolutely loving being pregnant. It is so much fun and I am getting a little bit bigger of a bump. As you can see here, it's just getting a little bit bigger, but not big enough to paint yet. All right, y'all, without further ado, thank you so, so much, and lots of love and hugs from my home to yours. Bye, guys.